I'm not usually a big fan of extensions in my browser being used for visual mapping, but you know what? I'm actually kind of excited about MindMup. Let's do it. Hey everyone, Kevin Oxner here. I'm the author of Visual Productivity because when you look at it, it just makes sense. Okay, well, today we're talking about my mom, and this is one that, you know, I thought, okay, I'll just check it out, have a look. And when I actually got into it and started using it, I'm like, yes, if I'm looking for something that's gonna get me forward my productivity, this is actually a really cool tool. So let's get into it. We'll talk about some of the features and we'll talk about what I like, what I, you know, some frustration points, and I'll give my overall thoughts on it after that. Okay, so first of all, we'll get into the features. Okay, so the basic account, it's just a free account. You can show up and without even logging in or anything, just use it and you can save a file somewhere. It's obviously, it's available to everyone. It's anonymous. Once you've saved it though, you can't go back and change anything because it's anonymous. They wouldn't know who was making the changes. There's a goal feature. And the goal really just lets you save everything on via MindMob. And you can go in, you can make changes, you can share it with other people, all whatever else. What I love about this is that you can link up Google Drive, which means you can save files right on your Google Drive. And this is a cool part, you can use real-time collaboration, real-time chat collaboration. That way you're using Google's awesome infrastructure, but you're also using this as a kind of a neat tool. I like this a lot. The other option is Dropbox as well. So same sort of idea, you can save it on Dropbox. Okay, onward. Let's talk about some of the things that I really enjoy about this. I've already mentioned a couple things, but the Control Shift B is actually, it's kind of a neat thing. I can take that top menu and I can get rid of it. Control Shift B, boom, it's gone. That is really good. It just, all the white space, the extra white space is really good. And yes, I could get rid of the top keys, but I'm gonna talk about it in a couple seconds. So we're gonna leave it in there for now. Easily collapsing the nodes either the F key or the division key, the forward slash key. And it does feel weird. There's no sort of button. There's no sort of plus sign or a button I can click on these nodes. But if you get an idea of some of the, the simple shortcuts that these guys have set up, once you get familiar with it, it's pretty cool stuff. Something else I like, and it is neat. I'm gonna hit the F key and I'm gonna fold this thing, this bad boy back up here. And what's gonna happen, if you look at it now, it's, it's got a flat view of this one. I'll hit F and now it shows it's stacked. Just a neat way because there's nothing showing how many nodes there are behind it, that by stacking it just lets me know that there's something that's deeper down so I can go in and I can expand that node. I think that's cool. Something else that I'm really enjoying is the fact that they have something called a storyboard. And there's other places where they got storyboards and you can go through and look at things, but this is really cool. Let me show you. I'm gonna hit the S key to go to storyboard and there's also a hot key right there if you have this thing open. But I'm gonna hit the S key to open the storyboard and what it does is it lets you take snapshots of certain things. What I like about this is the fact that it's real time. Sometimes they'll let you clip things in, but watch this. If you watch, I'll show you. I'm gonna go in and I'll just edit this menu right here. And hit F2. Oh, there we go, get back into that side. F2, I'm just gonna type in hello. Now what we're looking is gonna be right about here. I'll hit the enter key and just watch. Boom. It automatically updates as you're working through the map. That is awesome. My favorite part of this is that I can now take these slides and I can download them. Now watch, if I hover over this, it's gonna say, oh, oh, it keeps throwing this menu up. So what I need to do, I'm gonna do Control Shift B again, put the menu back. Now that's a tip that took me a, a, a two minutes to figure out. I'm like, why does it keep popping up? Anyway, if you have to Control Shift B, put this thing back up. I'm gonna hit download. Now, here's the cool part. Generally people will give you a PDF download for free, but PDF, you know, we can't really modify those. This one, they just started doing it. You can download these slides in PowerPoint. That is cool for free. Did I, did I mention it's free? <laughs> anyway, that is awesome. I love that. That's a great feature. I'm gonna head out of here. I know I'm taking too long on this. Let's go back here to the features. I'm gonna collapse that, collapse that. Let's bring this back up. If you hit the zero key, it'll take you right back. It'll send to your map for you. Frustration points. Let's talk about a couple things that I, I think they could have improved upon. All right. One is just that the hotkey description is off the side of the page. This is more of a, a, a weird frustration thing for me. I don't know why it's not auto wrapping, but when I first opened my mup, it was like this, where it's sitting here on the side of the page, the right hand side of the page. If I hover over some of these things, I'll give you an example, there it goes. It doesn't wrap, it just goes off the side of the page when, and I can't see what the actual shortcut is. Now, yes, I know I can grab it and I can do this, but as far as functionality, that's just something that I wanna leave this thing 
you know, kind of docked or whatever you want to call it in here at the side of the page and it should just be able to automatically wrap when I'm hovering at the side of the page. So that's a bit of a frustration point for me. The other thing, and this is a thing for me, is the slow animation. I just, you know, you guys know me, I'm a little jumpy, a little antsy, and when I start using this thing, it's just, it seems like it's just a little too slow. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Ooh, whoa. You can just see it's just, I wanted to see this thing coming in a little bit more. It's cool, yeah, that's fine, there's animation. Sometimes I just turn off animation and other visual mapping programs that I'm using, but I don't see that if there's a way, I tried to find a way to speed this up, to speed up the animation, or even turn it off, and I couldn't find it. So there is a big frustration point is the animation is slow. It doesn't mean the program's slow, it just means that the animation's slow. I think it needs to be a fraction of a second faster as far as the slide-ins and all those good things. That's my personal opinion. Overall impressions, I'll tell you what. I came in expecting nothing out of my mind, but I'm sorry, my, my people, it was, I just didn't know about it and I didn't expect much. I'm digging this thing. This is good. The Google Drive integration, having the collaboration tools where I can use Google Drive, like use, use Google's infrastructure to chat. That way I know it's gonna work. That way I know all I say is, hey, do you have a Google account? <laughs> then we can talk about this thing, right? You're just not telling people, go off here, go to some random site and log in and we'll share information. No, it's nothing like that. It's Go to Google, log in, let's chat about this thing, give me your impressions. And what I have done to you, you'll probably, I'll prompt you to do this, is you'll have to save the MindMump uh, Chrome extension. They'll have to put an extension onto your, your web browser, but if you plan on using this thing, well worth it, it really is. This thing is simple and fast to use. Most of these online solutions are so tedious, they're so slow. This thing works exactly like I want it to. Tab gives me one, low, one node deeper, Enter gives me another node, and I can just pound out idea after idea. Really good. The downside, and I'm gonna put it here, I'm just gonna be honest, is that it's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen. It's functional, and it looks okay. I'm giving, I'm giving it a five out of 10 maybe for looks. It looks okay, it's passable. If there was a, just a little nicer look to the nodes, and that kind of the, the, the basic gray is kind of, a, I don't know. Anyway, that's just my last opinion, guys. Overall, though, very solid. If you wanna use this thing for productivity, this is a solid tool and it, it works. And because it works through Google, you can use this at work, at home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It, it's mobile. Overall, man, I'm really happy with it. And hey, if I can ask you a favor, if you like the video, please go ahead and like the video. Maybe leave a comment down below. The more engagement you give me, the better I can make the videos in the future, but also the, the more it gets this video out in front of other people. So I appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, I am Kevin Oxner with your makingme.com. We'll talk again soon.